Picnic season officially begins on Memorial Day weekend, and that is just around the corner. Today I'm going to show you a nice little potato appetizer, or you can even serve it as a little side at your picnic. And it's so easy and so tasty. You start by boiling some small red potatoes or Yukon gold potatoes. You want a potato with a nice creamy flesh. And cook it just until it's tender. I pushed a fork through and it came right out, so I knew that they were done. And then I set them aside until they were just cool enough for me to hold in my hand and I sliced each one in half lengthwise and then I want to scoop out some of that potato flesh and so I found that what works best is a little metal measuring spoon but if you have a small teaspoon that works good too and I've just used a potato masher to mash them up a little bit and then I'm going to make a creamy mixture to stir right into these potatoes. And I'm going to make a filling for these little potato shells. So I've got a little food processor here and you can certainly use a blender. If you have a blender in your kitchen, that'll work just fine too. So I'm going to start by putting a few tablespoons of just salad dressing or mayonnaise and a couple tablespoons of horseradish. I know, this is the prepared horseradish. So it's going to give it a little bit of a kick. And a couple tablespoons of Dijon mustard. And then I'm chopped up a few cloves of garlic and probably about a quarter cup of chopped onion. And I'll just put all of this into my food processor. And I'm just going to blend it up until it's pretty smooth. So I'll just pour those right over the potatoes in the bowl that I've already mashed a little bit. And then I'll just mix it up. Add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper, black pepper, and just a little sprinkle of cayenne pepper just for a little, little bit of heat. Just kind of gently push some potato mixture right into the potato, just like that. And once you've filled your potatoes, you can put them right onto your serving platter and sprinkle them with some of these finely chopped fresh chives from the garden. And there you go, a nice little appetizer or a nice little side for your first picnic of the season. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.